What percent of CEOs in Fortune 500 companies are women? And that is a decrease on the number that was recorded in 2015. I am Maggie Georgopoulos. I'm an expert in women climbing the corporate ladder, a mechanical engineer, physics teacher, and I'm certified in international commercial law. I'm also a citizen of the world. At the age of 32, I became the executive chairman of the board of a large agricultural company in Australia. I was the only female on the board. Reaching these lofty heights is not what I want to talk to you about today. I am bipolar. I was first diagnosed when I was 17 and at the age of 32, I had a major depressive episode that had me on suicide watch. Yet, nobody in the company I worked for knew about it. Nobody outside of my family knew about it. And I still managed to conduct my job and successfully lead the company in a you know, beneficial direction. Nobody knew about it until 12 months ago. One in six people in the United Kingdom, one in four of, in women or one in 10 men suffer from some form of mental illness. It is the hidden disease. What I want to do through my connections with children, with women, through leadership, is actually help to take this disease out of a hidden space, make workplaces more diverse so that people who have anxiety disorders, whether it be simple depression or a long-term mental illness such as bipolar, anxiety disorder, chronic depression, can actually step out of the problem zone.